Hi guys, welcome. In this video, I am going to configure the Django REST framework in the Django application. Uh, we'll see that how we are going to do step by step, right? So right now you are seeing my Visible Studio code and uh, there is no any project at this moment. And uh, we are going to create a simple Django project and on top of it, uh, we can also create uh, uh, adding the Django REST framework module, right? So let me create now new folder here. So I'm just going to create folder name called e-commerce. Okay. Okay. So I think in my, in this folder, it is already there. So we can say that e-commerce DRF. So e-commerce Django REST framework project, which you are going to create it here. Just click on the button, create and open this folder. And as simple as so it will create new directory here on, under my local. So in this, I'm going to create a project. Okay. The so project name is, uh, which I'm going to take. Uh, let me go to the first uh, terminal. Now I will be creating the new environment by using the virtual ENV virtual env drf just enter you see that there is a folder is created here okay and uh, so then after that we can install the django and django rest framework but just for your information django and django rest framework is already installed in my system but however i am going to do it now pip3 install and django enter successfully done and Django REST framework just you enter here this is also successfully done so after that what I'm going to do right I'm going to create a project here so Django iPhone admin start project okay and the project name is so mobile commerce so i will say that m commerce so after that enter so there is a m commerce folder is created inside that another row main app is created in that settings urls visgi and uh, so we have the main is dot so all these things are i will i mean already there here now all i'm going to do right so i am going to check that uh, the Django application is up and running and uh, without any issues. So let me move to the CD space M commerce and uh, here I'm going to write a command name called python pre-manage.py okay. and run server just enter. So from here uh, it will take you to this that uh, Django website you can see here this is the screen which you are seeing successfully it is uh, uh, launched without any issue on the sequential way like building the building the applications with the rest framework so as of now there is a step here you can see this uh, installed apps okay so rest framework we need to add in in our rows, uh, project so there is a settings dot p under the main app adding the rest framework and uh, next to the the list of apps here okay like this so control save it okay after that we can uh, use this uh, the complete path from this url patterns and I'm going to do the same thing. Just go to the main app URLs and add this path here. And it's saying that include function is not uh, defined yet. You just import it from the django.urls. And after that, save this and it got saved. Now you go and uh, refresh the Django page here, okay? 
So when you refresh the page, uh, it's showing the two URLs. One is admin slash and another one is API authentication. If you look at here, we added the new path, okay? It is by default, uh, there is some URLs which is configured uh, in the REST framework. And those URLs only we are going to access now. For example, now I'm going to use this API iPhone AUTH slash you just enter and you see that again there is another two URLs which is trying to match it so you either you can give login or log out here so again I am just providing it the login and you enter then you see this there is a Django REST framework inside this there is username and password it is asking this is this is this is completely saying that your Django REST framework is successfully uh, installed in your system right so to log into this one okay we need to uh, username and password so as of as of now I'm going to use this one into the SQLite 3 only I mean to say that SQLite 3 and uh, going forward we are going to use the Postgres just for time being continue on this I'm going to use the SQLite 3 database only so for that first we need to do the python3 mayonnaise.py so make migrations are not required we are not created any models in this case you just run the command call migrate so it will execute the all the list of uh, uh, the migrations whatever it is already predefined like admin authentication content type sessions are going to be executed after that uh, so you just to do one thing create super user because basically we need a super user so don't try to create super user without migrating these uh, uh, tables basically you are creating a tables guys okay so we have to use the command call create super user after the migrate command now I'm going to run this my uh, create super user and generally we give the admin so just like this admin at gmail.com again admin so don't give admin uh, is the password because uh, it is not recommended in the production environment and all so it is okay for you when you are developing the application so you can proceed as because the password is too similar to the username that is a short there are some warnings messages will come but you can go right with the say yes by using the y command then it works I am going to now okay run the server so when you run the server I need to create or uh, because already we created username here admin admin so what I will do right I will pass the same thing here admin admin and click on login button once you match okay so if I go to this okay if you look at the URL here it's going to the account start profile but in, in our applications we are not a developer the complete uh, project so going forward we are going to use the the profiles user maintenance and everything in move on to the creating the serializers and uh, routers so many things we are going to explore